double dragon. It's your boy, hey man. Like it. Back to some new heat for y'all today. You heard what she said. Let's get it, man. Of the more One Piece new week. Oh, man. I don't know what happened last time. Oh, yeah, I know we was at the port. And then home blew itself up, Pedro. He probably just knocked out. <laughs> if he just knocked out, bro, this just keeps making it even worse for One Piece on people dying. It just makes it worse. If he don't die, it's worse than Pale? Nah. Agree. Not to have a beach pail. Pail literally had a nuke in his what? His hand <laughs> blew up with a nuke, <laughs> and then all of a sudden he's walking around with a stick. Either that man, that man's a yonko on the lowest of keys, <laughs> and Oda just ain't want to tell us, or it's just some just a BS. Yeah, I it's, don't know. It's 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 pale sheep man. And Pedro, if Pedro's still alive, yeah, Sheik Man is up there too. Y'all yeah. know what I'm talking about back when it was, uh, I think it's the Captain Usopp Kuro, arc. huh? Is it Captain Kuro, yeah, Captain Kuro. When he got, he got stabbed, he supposed to be dead, but he was all good, yeah. And the pale one, we already know what y'all be saying about like you know, the bombings during that time in September 11th. We're not really talking about like that part, we just kind of talk about. Him, the fact that he's surviving something is kind of crazy. You kind of pointed out. Yeah. So without the whole, you know, Oda didn't want to let that go through you know, part. I understand why he didn't want to do it, but y'all not about to change my story. I'm sorry. This, it, that's how I wrote it. That's how I wrote it. If you think if I did it because of that, then that's that's on you. It's not about to stop my story from being from being uh, creative, bro. And I don't know. He probably changed his mind. You know what I'm saying? With, with that in mind, but he probably had more more for pale, but I ain't seen nothing else since then. So I would have killed him. Yeah, that situation was. Do you think the whole stigma of people not dying in One Piece would be a lot less um, talked about if Pale would have died? Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like Pale was like the uh, the ringleader of like people not dying. Yeah, it's like the sure deaths. It's like it's supposed to like happen, and when they don't happen, it's kind of like now we questioning stuff like this. Like yeah. Pedro just literally had an ultimate sacrifice. He got the story all lined up with um, Goldie Roger and everything. Like the farewell is like was OP. <laughs> like like the setup was just crazy. So let's see what happened in the world to change this story. You know what I'm saying? You but, think he did? Huh? You think he did? Yeah. I don't think he did. I don't think he did. Should he, should he be dead? Yes. Do I think he died? He probably severely. So why you said you said we not leaving here until you said somebody gonna die? Yeah, I feel like Pedro too small to die. Who's it's gonna not be that big of impact? I I'm, thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Raise you. What's her name? Raise you. Sanji sister? I'm thinking like one of the siblings or Sanji father. I feel like it's it, 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 like a small impact death. Nah, she she bigger than Pedro. Now when you say, uh, I yeah, feel like she, Pedro is too small of a of an impact for like somebody dying in this arc. So we got to kill minimum. Who had to be Sanji's sister? Minimum. Yeah. I don't see that happen. It got to be somebody who we care about like a lot. But I don't want to. But you die. think somebody gonna get mocked? Yeah, I feel like some, some like we can't leave it. We can't leave this arc without somebody, some bad happen. Because, because then that means we just came in to a Yonko's territory. We just came out, and it was just all butterflies in a sense. Yeah, we got beat up a little bit, but we came in, we came out unscathed. Everybody good. I don't, I don't know about all that. Yeah. Then we need something to like. To like piss Luffy off so he can like fight somebody at the end yeah. of the arc too, you know. 
We'll see. Yeah. Nobody really died in just Rosa, I guess, but you know. yeah. Story wise, it make, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? You know how movies like, oh, it was a happy ending, but then when you have movies that have some type of hit or impact, yeah, it like you know sticks a little bit. I don't, I don't want nobody to die. I'm just guessing that somebody will die. I don't want nobody to die though. I want people to stay alive. You know, people I care about. <laughs> Peacombs can die. Um, ain't that the ain't that the little tiger dude? Yeah. yeah. Pedro's that sucks, you know what I'm saying? His his backstory was alright, but it ain't hit. It didn't hit like a like the old shrine people hit. It ain't it ain't hit. Have have the shrines of post of, of post time skip been hidden like pre time skip? Who else is in the shrine? Do we you have a lot of people in the shrine? Just like they stories, like we meet them characters, we put them in the shrine. Do they hit the same way post pre time skip people was hitting? I see what you mean. I see what you mean. It might be, I might be slightly in favor of the pre time skip shrines. Yeah, because I can't Over remember nobody ones. putting the shrine uh-huh. here. Post time skip. Who we put in the shrine? I think we did. We put a. Uh, oh, I don't think we put in the shrine. Oh, girl that got married to um dude. The dude uh, who Don Ching's uh, person. Man. We put her in there, or we put him in there. You talking about? You talking about uh, his son? Did, did did we put his son in there? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember putting. But him we in seen her backstory, and her backstory was like really good. I don't you know, know if we put it in the shrine. No, we oh, put we put shrine. um. Who you talking about? Uh, baby in there. Baby. Oh, oh, oh you talking about um, what's his name? Hey, I it's like he some freaky. gentleman, something gentleman, something um. Dang it, that's what the freaking hurt me, man. I ain't gonna be in shrine. I forgot his it's name. It's like a pacifier. Yeah. Um, I don't remember his name. I know what you're talking about though. That, I don't remember his name. That was a that was a W. Frankie versus. Uh, Sometimes I use like things to, Make to activate it. Frankie versus. Maybe it's, not, maybe he, it's like a gentleman or something, wasn't it? Man. Um, yeah, I want to look up Frankie versus, but I don't want to spoil myself. Frankie versus. Such a baby such pink. Mr. Senior Pink. Senior Pink. Senior Pink. So you got to like, use context stuff, man, to connect to it. Senior Pink. Senior Pink was in there. Senior Pink was in there. I give Senior Pink a good. Uh, good. A good shrine. Like, I give him that. Post shrine, pink is yeah. He definitely pink, pink probably the biggest one. I don't know anybody else. Nobody from Fishman Island. Dolphinigo. It's like to me, the shrine is like for these side characters that are, that are just very great. Yeah. That helped out the story. The good villains, I don't really put them in the shrine because they just got their own like lane to me. I'm putting like good side characters. But I think in once we see his story, we were just talking about. Oh him, yeah! Like, oh, hands down. And, and and I feel like there's more characters that's not in the shrine, but they play like villains or they play like you know some some different. Like I wouldn't put Garp in the shrine. I wouldn't put like Iokaji in the shrine. No, like Cor- oh, Corazon. Corazon. Yo, no. Post yeah, skip. So we gotta Corazon. think. We gotta think about it. Post yeah. skip. That's two. Uh, that's two though. But I said that's all for me. Just thinking. Just like. Nobody else is in Just Rosa hidden like that though. Besides Corazon, and then you got baby. Oh, that was so, so Just Rosa had two skip. people. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the only people I can think of. If we gonna find the third. I'm like, that's all I can think of. You know when the time skip started? Like that was yeah, like. Yeah, started. Before like Fishman, like Island. Fishman Island and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Anything after Fishman Island? Yeah. Uh, I thought you said you said anything of Just Post. Rosa ain't hidden like that. I thought you was like. No, I I, about. I I like totally. Totally forgot about Corazon. Oh. And then, then we got ba- uh, Senior Pink. Damn, Dress Rosa is carrying. It's carrying, bro. Because we only got what? Fishman Island. Punk Hazard. Punk Hazard. Oh, somebody in Punk Hazard that was in the shrine? Gastino. I don't think he can go there yet. You know what? I don't mind putting him in, but he's kind of like too, a villain to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like Double Mingo. Yeah. I just like his like character, but he's not a side. I feel like Sharan should be side characters. You can keep his side side characters that that just predicates to like helping out. Does Law count? 
Laws, he's not, Laws, Laws a hero to me. Laws, Laws not really like a side. He, he's like a like a Zoro to me. He's just not connected like that. So if you're not a straw hat, technically you side. Because the story is Law like could be like Law could be seen as like. No, 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 because it's because like Garp is in the straw hat. Aoki's in the straw hat. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, but they like, but they like, okay, so they're like main. They're like characters, main characters to me. But yeah. not like, not like, like the main, main characters. Yeah, like Law is a main character to me. So, like, okay. any of the main characters, we, we can't put them in the shrine. It's too easy. Because they're bigger than the shrine. Yeah. The shrine is for us notifying certain character side characters. Wait, then we so have Nami and Rocket in the shrine? I, yeah, I don't know why we did. That's because I don't that think was it was the only just one that characters. was in there. I think it was just like I don't remember nobody else in there that was major. But it was all, it the, was like the grant the the old lady from Chopper, Doctor Healer, Bellamere. It was all like it was all like low key was a lot of people from the past. Yeah. To be honest, There's a lot of people from the past, but they all attributed to the Straw Hats history. All right, so um, we just doing side. Um, What's the dude? Redfoot Zeph was in there. All right, so we we taking Nami Robin out the shrine then, and just leave I the thought they'd been out. We took them out so we could get them. Well, not not Nami Robin was never in there. It was really just Nami in there, because I think we started putting girls in there. But I don't think I think that was the only one we put in there. Yeah, I think that was the only girl we put in there. Uh, it was pri- it was a primarily it was primarily supposed to be used for. Good, great characters that we love throughout the story, like Kairu, he in the shrine, but that was pre pre time skip. Yeah, yeah. So I put we Vivi take a Nami and out the shrine. We just have side characters. Vivi shrine. could be in the shrine. You don't think so? Ah, oh, hurt my side, my pain. <laughs> you don't think she deserves to be in the shrine? You gonna She's say no? Bigger in the shrine. Oh, I, I was asking. I was asking, that's fine. Y'all don't want her in the shrine. That's messed up. That's not messed up because she's bigger than the shrine. <laughs> that was crazy, man. <laughs> okay. Oh man. I wonder who's higher on the um on the on the One Piece like favorable polls. Is it Kairu higher than Vivi or if it's the other way around? I just wonder. I wonder how do you vote for these things? I would like to vote. If if Kairu is higher, like what's the problem with that? Nothing at all. That's that's what I would prefer. I would prefer that. You know? I think he's that's a more likable character, but Love. people think differently. That's yeah. crazy. As far as post time skip, um I wanna put yeah, I don't think we should put um Rayleigh in there. Rayleigh don't Rayleigh's too high in there. Rayleigh can't be in there. You too, you too big of a character. If you too big to the story, you shouldn't be in there. He's not a side character to me. Really, not a side character. He's part of the. He's part of the the freaking, freaking what? Jolly Roger Pirates. So is Shanks going in the shrine? No, nah, Shanks ain't going there either. Too big. How? He's not a side character. He's a main character. Like how? I want to hear like how? How? Why you think? Because he's a Yonko. He's, he's a main character. Yeah, Yonko. That he's a main character. He he gave Luffy the hat. He's still like, he's he's way more important in the story than these people that's in the shrine. The shrine is like more so. A lot of the people in the shrine are specific see, to the, the arc on. that they were on. Yeah, that that they were in, i.e. VV. You know what I'm saying? But you don't want to hear that. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. You see who he puts that's crazy. On I just Shanks. put that together. Nobody, don't nobody want to hear that though. Don't nobody want to hear that. You put the respect on Shanks. Mihawk could go in there. Mihawk too big. He does not. He does not focus on any arc specific we don't have nothing on him to even put him in the shrine so how's he big he's a big character same like okiji we don't have a lot on them but they're big characters they're main characters bro you wildin if you don't think you think you think we got more information on ioki did we do on did we do on uh me hope this didn't and this ain't I didn't they bring up Ayoko people. G, yeah. I'm, I'm giving you an example to show you that Mihawk don't belong Ayoko in there. could go in the shrine too. No, because they're not, they're main characters. I'm they, not saying I want them in the shrine. I'm just saying like. I'm saying they should not be in there because they're main characters. They main characters. they main. So what? Mihawk? Smoker? No. Uh, it's, there's a lot of people that don't belong in the shrine. The shrine is like these characters we find throughout the arcs of backstories that just touched us. So emotional. Corazon is too big for the shrine. Dude. No, he's not. Cause he was he was in the past. He was in the past. He was he was a uh, uh, arc specific. 
and he touched our hearts. He's a side character. He's no longer like he was. He was more. He was. He was play a bigger role than we thought. He was red. He was the red Zeph to to Sanji. He was. He was the um. What's the what's the girl that be taking care of Luffy and and all them? He was. Oh, it's about um with the red beads. Yeah, her. He was that to Luffy and Ace. He was the Bellamir to to Nami. Like, she's like the perfect example of a side character. Like and, Corazon was and an Corazon actual was spy a- from the Navy and like played into the story of okay. it being connected to Garp in a way that it, and Law. Like it's he's kind of like that story. more than like. That's just my opinion. I ain't saying I ain't trying to convince you. I'm just saying, like, he kind of seemed bigger a little bit. Then, you could give him more, but I still think he was a side character because he can't, he can't, he can't deliver any more thing, like anything else. It was more so the upbringing of law. The upbringing of okay. law. So I agree. So kind of like Dr. Hilliard. Hilliard? Yeah. Hilliard. Mm-hmm. Like he, I mean, he wasn't that big. To the story. That's why I can't get. He was. It was like he was big to the arc because he was. He was helping out everybody, healing everybody. He he was actually not really truly in cahoots with uh, Wapple. You know what I'm saying? But they had a little thing going. And I, that's the same. That's the same thing I'm saying with Corazon. Corazon was like a spy, but it was it, it was during that during that arc explanation. It, it it wasn't something that was pulled like arcs ago. It was everything Corazon was in Dress Rosa. Nah. Everything it's was tied in. to like even when they was celestial it's tied dragons, to certain day, but they were celestial dragons with the family and like the decisions and stuff that they made and all that was win. It seemed all like it was bigger. Win. It seemed bigger. Like just also wasn't even like a like thought of like all this was like happening like when. it was all explained in Dress Rosa. No more Corazon. I said it was explained in Dress this. Rosa, but it wasn't just specific to Dress Rosa. It was bigger than Dress Rosa. You can you can say that he tied to world building. Yeah, to a, to like a small T because he was just a he was just a spy, but but he was doing something. He was trying to do something like like he was just investigating his brother. That's it. He was a spy on he was a spy on the main villain in Dress Rosa. He wasn't like looking for like pony lifts or nothing like that. I mean, yeah, he was tied to the Marines, but I think that so was it just levels to side characters then. I just think he, he was just, yeah, yeah. Side he just character. make it like that. Level to side character. He's like level five and well, I, else now, one. I think I think he's the, the probably one of the the biggest like as far as like importance to the story. But yeah, it's still to me he's a he's a um a shrine person because because it, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't he doesn't connect anymore outside of Dress Rosa. That's it. Unless Law has some type of like I remember when he gave me this power and now I'm gonna use it. Ooh. Man. Yeah, I can't think of I can't think of anybody else that's controversial like that. I can't think of nobody else. Yeah, but let me know, man. Let us know what you, we just talking out loud. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, let me get to this. I don't even know. Um, yeah, I don't think anybody else here from Whole Cake Island. Nah, ain't, ain't nobody hidden like that outside of Raju. She hidden. She actually can be a side. Yeah. She can be a shrine. 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 She can see. Be a that's shrine. what I'm saying. Like her story is really big, but it didn't tie to the world at kind of like at all. It was more like, you know what I'm saying? This, this Corazon's really didn't either. If you think about it, his assignment was to look to search Dofi. It wasn't to go do something else. It was to really investigate Dofi. But it connected the to the like time was that he Navy was a pirate to type thing. And that's the whole gist. Navy and the pirates. So it was kind of like... Huh? Navy and the pirates? Yeah, the Navy versus the pirates. Like the whole gist. Like he was on both sides. It's like he... That's why it's like, okay, he used to be a level 10 side character or something. This is me in the middle. But he's higher than Raju as a side character. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I would agree on that. I would agree on that. I don't think he's the best side character, but you know. Yeah, that's a good. You know, I think yeah. he's the best side character. Ah oh, man, I don't know. Um, man, Corazon is definitely, he definitely got, <laughs> he definitely got a resume. Uh, man, I'm just biased to say Kairu. That's crazy. Kairu just so, so dope, man. Just love that guy. Just love that guy. Like Senor Pink. He's like a perfect shrine character. 
I feel like I feel like everybody gives Senior Pink like a 15 out of 10. I'm giving him like a 8 out of 10. That's it was hell. good, but it wasn't like that great. Y'all, it be sound like G8 from y'all sometimes. I'd be like, it was cool, but it wasn't like epic like that. It was all right. What it made it epic. like that was the fact that we weren't expecting it, and it came out like kind of crazy. The same as Don Chi's son. Like we wasn't expecting him, his character, to be that kind of like goaded. That's why we like, bro, we put him in the shrine. I enjoyed Don's part more than that. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's everybody talking about it. It kind of makes it even more like. I think I rewatch that. I, I remember it. It didn't hit me like everybody else was getting hit by it. But that's a lot of stuff in One Piece. It don't hit me like everybody else. You know. Senior Pink. Uh, no, nah, you was going crazy. It wasn't like. It wasn't no. Like, I ain't saying it's like it was a, like eight a out of ten doctor thing. I'm just saying like it, it was good. Like, no, I'm not saying it wasn't good or great. It just wasn't no like S to me like that. It wasn't no S. Like no. Oh my so god! I ain't like saying, I'm just saying shrine worthy. Like yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying it's the best thing in shrine the world. Worthy, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying he's like the perfect. That story was like the perfect shrine. Like shiznit. It was it was shrine worthy. Yes, yes. It was shrine worthy. So this is hard because every person in the shrine, shrine feel like if you compare it to Corazon, he gonna win. Man, Corazon was very. It was written very well, and his ending was just beautiful. It sucks. It very. It sucks a lot. It sucks. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to beat Corazon. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. That's why it's, it's just hard. It's hard to like. But yeah, yeah, man. I'm still giving it to pre pre time skip though. Wild Dress Rosa has some has s probably the best shrines in the whole post time skip so far. I'm gonna give it the post pre time skip so far. I don't want to hear no. You don't even know yet. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. We talking about right this second, <laughs> this second in the one piece yeah. journey. But it's been dope. It's been dope. Like, like. Well, yeah, man. Uh. About to see what's gonna happen. Conclusion of this shiznit. And uh, get into it. Let's run it up. Oh yeah, he didn't have he didn't have long to live, so that makes it seem that he probably gonna probably gonna die too. I mean, he definitely KO'd, at least. Mm -hmm. Animation crazy right now. Yeah. Luffy saying stuff like this is what I be talking about. Yeah. She definitely gonna wake up because don't Sanji and uh, Pudding gotta make the cake. Mm-hmm. It's my man, uh, Carol's and uh, Rebecca. Mm. Dang, that's true. That was a great teacher, man. <laughs> That's two already. So we got OB quick. Dang. Don't do this to me, man. Dang, bro. This is a message, bro. Mm. Said same thing. Tell us she gonna get mopped. Hey, y'all better forget get this motherfucker out of here. It's gonna do a, it's gonna be a double sacrifice, bro. What the freak? I mean, it's category, man.
Die Bauer? Don't destroy the ship. You finally get to see the technical stuff behind the coop that bus? <laughs> finally. Like shaking pop. Oh, they shaking it up. Mm. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, I say at that submarine, bro. We got a gap. Frankie can build another one, bro. Right. Hey, should have been preparing that. Oh my yes. Got category right there, then Big Mom right there. He just stopped it. Hey, they ready though. Okay, Can we use you? Can't you move water? Go downstairs. Right. Take your place. Well, he probably don't know how that stuff works, so he can't sit him down. <laughs> you strong, girl. That's what I'm talking about. Don't bite our ship. It's not no motherfucking candy. No cake. Don't bite out, sonny. Hey. <laughs> Damn. She's shaking in the pop-up for us. Right. Thanks. <laughs> Frank will come back like, what the? That's Peril's dude, bruh. The Peril's dude's still nah, here. Nah, that's, that's the brother, yeah. His arm blew off? I knew he wouldn't. They can't shoot for nothing. Just throw him in there. You gotta call everybody. Put them up in the mirror. You gonna have them push category? I'd have been like, ye. Right. B. So, locked in there. Stronger though. Damn. Oh. He about to take him into the mirror thing. Wow. Oh, the ship gonna fly away and they just gonna he just gonna fly into the mirror. Damn. He's holding Katakuri for a while, it seemed like. Mm hmm Well oh, the cannons ain't doing nothing, bro. <laughs> Don't forget to shout it. Don't forget to shout it. Super! <laughs> they like, what the hell? I ain't Luffy, bro. Damn. You about to get a showdown, then. Damn. Mm. Oh, my God. He just broke the freaking window. Yeah, he got the window. Shit, that was cold. Luffy won't smoke. It's about to be Luffy's fight to take him to the next level. That's facts. Hey, man, determination can help. I really want to know what her range is, though. Like how far she could go? Mm -hmm. from, like away from the. This island. is like every mirror in the world, or what? Damn.
That glass breaking the window is monumental, man. Monumental. Like, you're not going to get my crew. F that. Monumental. They free, they free now. Damn. Dang. Dang. Them, them Luke, when Luffy does stuff like this, bro. That's dope. That's unmatched, bro. I picked this love Luffy's character, bro. God dang. Shout out to Mira. Yeah. yeah. This was fire. I enjoyed this episode, man. I'm dang. I just want to see the fight, man. I was ready to get to the next episode, honestly. Mm. What do you think? What do you think? Straight one on one? Is Luffy winning? We don't know how strong Luffy is yet. Uh, what? He just. I said, we don't know how strong Luffy is yet. I mean, the way anime pose work, he's supposed to defeat him. But. I don't know, man. We already got a lot of information in category besides his bounty, a little bit of his devil fruit. My man got advanced, advanced uh, observation hockey. That's gonna be hard to defeat. He ain't gonna be. He, I don't think Katakuri can keep up and gear four, but anything less than that. Uh, cause, was, cause like I'm thinking about, I think about, I think about Dofi, and like how Luffy, Dofi really had to get jumped to the point where like. Luffy can like beat him, you know what I'm saying? Because he's weakened in a weakened state. It had to be something, some, some, something like that. Yeah. Cause, cause I, cause I can see, I can see. It's hard to even say Kata Curry's stronger than Dofi because I don't have enough information on him. I don't got no I info on said, him. I think you thought he would win. I asked you that. Yeah, I, th I thought it'd be like this. Uh, uh, so if it's like back. this, then that means we don't got low. Luffy been getting packed since he was in here. I don't know. What, what you think? This reminds me of like Luffy versus Magellan. Like it's kind of like as we going through like a like a time skip thing. Like Luffy is stronger now, so if he go back and fought Magellan, he probably win. But Katakuri is like a stronger version of Magellan in a sense. So it's like it's both time skips. So do that just equal up to where they Luffy can't beat that person, or it's I'm like saying, I don't know, man. We barely beat Doflamingo, and that's what helped. I say I him. think Doflamingo will mop Katakuri. So in my head, uh, I won't say mop. Let me stop. Let me shift it. I think Doflamingo will win against Katakuri. So I give Luffy more of an edge as far as like the one on one versus Katakuri versus like Doflamingo full strength. But do I think Luffy can win? Anime wise, he should win. Like how is he gonna unless he gonna get captured, and then he gotta come back and rescue him. He has to find a way to, cause Katakuri's he's technically a Loki, bro. Pretty much, but I know like, they gonna be like, no, whatever. He has Loki. Oda making everybody Loki looking like Loki for what? Just stop it, Oda. Just, just stop it. He has Loki properties. Like Loki is the one that be like, you know, da, 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 da. yeah. You know what All I'm of a sudden, he probably on some on that snot dude. We had a little piece of the body. Let's get on my nerves. <laughs> so we got to find some way to kind of like hit him to the point where we're doing damage. So I don't know, man. Yeah, it's gonna be know. it's gonna be like some some uh, some uh, crocodile BS where he yeah. has blood on his hands. He gonna oh, need some. He gonna need something. I think. And since hockey should have worked, hockey should have worked if he's low gear. Just in general, it should have worked, right? It should have worked. Like, I thought, I thought that was like the the end all be all. Like, you should get hit by this. And the fact he's not even Logan, so he should have got hit. I think it's more so maybe he's like before the it's impact ability. comes, he's like, he's like, I guess, like, say for instance, I'm right here. When I know a punch is coming, I can go like this. Yeah. And the punch don't hit me. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, kind of like doing that. If that if that kind of makes sense. So like it's not really hitting me. It's not really connecting. I don't know. What is what is this fruit called again? Uh, it's like mochi, only only. It's like Oka, a mochi 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 mochi. Yeah. Mochi mochi. Um, it's like a it's like a it's like a treat. I think I think that's probably what he's doing. Because in a sense, he should be connecting. He should he should be connecting. This man a hybrid, bro. You know like. Uh, underworld. Yeah. I, can't huh? yeah. I can't wait to explain. Vampires underworld. I can't wait till they explain what the, what the hell you doing. Yeah. 
But hey, ready to get to the next episode, y'all. See what's gonna happen. Same here. The showdown. That's what he did against Ayokaji. One fifty, one billion fifty. He said, "Hold on." Mm. Peros a billion and he a billion. I think Peros was like seven hundred, seven hundred sixty, I think. Oh yeah, like eight hundred seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's somebody better. Why are you going in normal? I you need at least your tooth. Thank you. Should have been did that. Oh, just go straight to get four, man. I'm tired before you even start fighting you. That's the Dragon Ball Z fight style right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gaxor! They be trusting the hell out of him, boy. Oh, cause they was froze. Mm -hmm. The silent telling of it. I love how we still got the tangerines rocking with us. I ain't long see nobody be eating them. <laughs> Brooke was with him the most mm -hmm. um, on this little journey. Hey, yeah, no, Luffy moment. Hey, we ain't really seen Brooke like that. Yeah. Hey. Jimbe used to this. He brought Luffy out, bro. We did a lot of damage to only have like half of our crew. Yeah. And took the uh pony glyphs. Pony glyphs. Sail forward. Oh yeah, Renegade. <laughs> Mm. This this what the squad needed. Need a senior person. <laughs> yep. Jimbe came right time. You should know this boy, you like a hundred years old. <laughs> <laughs> Top are ready to go. I need to get somebody else to do this, man. Jinbei too big for that damn thing. <laughs> she got a glove. Hey, Jinbei is like the perfect person to kind of navigate. Because mm -hmm. he water. water. Yeah. He know the water. First time Jinbei selling with us, Luffy can't be there. Hey! Right. Was that, what was that, that? What? Bro, I was trying to figure out. Hey, she walk on water. She shouldn't be able to walk on water. She not Jesus, bro. Do you have anything before we go? No. What is that? Oh, 
Oh, her son. He's still alive. I mean, we saw him still alive. Hells. Oh, if we knock him out, we kill Big Mom. Loki? Possibly. I know we ain't finna mop Big Mom so early. I'm just saying shit, isn't it? How did they catch up? We Koopo, they burst. Fake arm. Pedro, live in your head, rent free. She about to mop him. Yeah, Kara gotta be the one to like take him out, bro. Yeah. Big Mom ain't got her, ain't got her power right now, too. She can make chocolate, too? Oh, did she do anything and throw the bark related to chocolate? I don't remember. Mm. Mm. That's the, uh... Where did he get on the ship? It's the father. He said, I think that's my daughter. Man, we got stuff to do, man. She is tripping, bro. She needs some help. <laughs> the lady and son? Hey, Luffy got a good battle, sis. He doing it right back at him? Am I doing it wrong? This man souped up, powered up Luffy, bro. That's kind of cold. Oh, shoot. He about to show him something? God damn! Dang! That's the anime stands. <laughs> oh! No way, Luffy can hit with his own shit, then. Dang! You need more than that for us, Katakuri. I mean, really, we hit him with the. Anything you can do, I can do better. Rubber Rubber won't lose the mochi. Okay. Okay. We don't see fights like this often. Nah. Luffy need to do a delayed attack. Yeah, kind of trick on him. Yeah. Kinda trick him. Say give up already. Ah, loving it. This fight, this fight is turning out to be pretty good already. Yeah, this fight is going crazy. My man said I'm better at everything. Speed, power, all above. I wonder how Luffy going. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be something like he gonna figure out, figure out like his duration of uh, how far he can look in, look into the future. Maybe change up his plan or something. Like yeah. act like he about to do something within that second, but he changed it the last second or something. I don't yeah. know. Delayed attack, bro. Yeah. Got to switch up the timing. That's how bosses got their elder ring, bro. It's all about learn. Y'all learn. Y'all learn, learn, learn the timing of when to die. It's just mm -hmm. that we got to delay. But you know. Like, I'm, st I'm just starting to, I mean, I know this, but it's like, it's starting to hit me that when Luffy do gear three, he's just like blowing himself up like a balloon. Mm -hmm. Like when he bites things, he's stopping it and then just like blowing it up. Like, it's just like, 
I don't know why this time it just made me just think about like this dude is just blowing his shit up. That sound kind of sus. I think somebody put this into context for me. They said because because I just didn't know. I thought it was just him blowing up rubber and it was just massive. And just, but somebody said he's actually blowing up his bones. It was makes his bones bigger, and yeah, then he punches like that. I was just like, oh, that makes it seem more cooler now. I thought it was just him blowing up his arm, just you know, like a balloon. But it was actually they said that he's he's blowing up his 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 like bones, like the bones get bigger. Did you know that? I don't know that. Yeah. Doesn't it make it That's seem a, like it's cooler though? It makes it seem more confusing to me. How? How can if you blow blowing a bone? Up, so you know you know you know your bones are technically hollow. It has bone marrow in there, of course. Right. You, but yeah. So you can expand them. It makes sense to expand rubber properties as opposed to expanding the bone but your whole body is rubber so your bones that's why i'm thinking this more for luffy to do that is more make more sense for the the rubber properties to be like expanded but now that the bone i mean the bone is rubber everything is rubber so like so like the rubber would be like but it's as it's getting like rubber so bones since he's blowing it up Okay, so the, the bone's getting bigger. Okay, it's getting stretched, of course, but yeah, yeah it's, just, it's just stretched a lot. It's pretty cold to me now. I don't know. Maybe I didn't verify that, but somebody said that, that he How actually. Doing, to, uh, I guess that's you got to know, like, just human physics. But they probably tried to say it. It, I just, it just went over my head. I didn't know. Yeah. But now that it seems more cool to me that it does that. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cold. I didn't know. I thought he was blowing his, his arm up anime style and punching. I thought that was like punching with a balloon. <laughs> but that explains like the mass and like the strength behind yeah. it too though so like the yeah, yeah. power mm-hmm. that makes sense i mean that makes sense but yeah episode was crazy this fight is going down to be i like it one of the like top fights i'm like, really loving whole cake island whole cake yeah. island is pretty dope yeah it's pretty dope i messed the patient is not bad this fighting the yonko is dope it's the backstories the characters yeah Man, the villains is, is beautiful. Yeah. I like it. It's, the only thing that's crazy is Tomate Box is stupid, and then that's Forest. The Forest at the beginning was dumb. Yeah. But, you know, it, it, needs, it needs to be in every arc. It's okay. Yeah. It's fire. Like, this arc is definitely fire, man. I ain't, yeah. I ain't even going to cap. But, yeah, man, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure I check these videos out on our Patreon before we put them on YouTube. Thanks. Don't check it out. Peace. Peace.